What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We better get into Karma has Corey YouTube removed and blocked. <laughs> uh, before we get into this video, his uh, two-hour video, I reacted to two hours of it. Um, y'all can check it out on my Patreon. The link will be in the pinned comment. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. I got into whatever you needed me to get into in that video. We went through emotions after emotions for five hours. I was sitting there and I reacted to an hour of her video. So tap in. It's a lot of content over there for y'all on the Patreon. It's only $16, 16 cents a day. Stop playing with me. As many of you guys may know, Carmen recently dropped a single called You Made Diddy Look Like an Angel, where she exposed all of the infidelity and abuse that happened in her marriage with Corey. Well, Corey recently dropped a video on his YouTube reacting to Carmen's song in the video that she put out on YouTube, going into detail on all of the situations that occurred. Well, mm -hmm. Carmen and her team quickly had that video removed. Now, Corey worked hard on this video. That was a two hour video that he recorded and uploaded and Carmen had it removed within like two to three hours. Now I did watch a lot of this video before it was deleted and pretty much Corey has been saying the same thing that he's been stating that we've heard before. So wasn't really much new that we haven't heard from Corey. He basically, I agree with that. He was stating that Carmen has been lying about a lot of things well immediately after Carmen had Corey's video removed she went and dropped her part too the untold stories of you made Diddy look like an angel where she was sitting down with Kat and explaining into detail all of the scenarios that occurred in her relationship with Corey as well as what she can expect going further Carmen stated that she's done and she's never going back well, Carmen also shared on Instagram that she received flowers and I'm guessing those flowers came from her boo, Big Boogie Music. She was on live and he decided to join in and Carmen was blushing. It definitely seems like they have something going on here. Yeah, yeah. I Girl, the way he came over there, them eyes got low and everything. Ask somebody if I'm trying to ask somebody and if it's not working, it's not on me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Let me do my short, y'all. Oh. Hey. Came in there with them with them two of us. Hold on. on. Y'all yeah, know I gotta get my short together. Oh, mango badass. Okay, there you go. Hey. <clears throat> hey. See, now you don't have service. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He wanted us to see them toofas and them stars on that roof. Yeah, I can hear you. Well, What's that? You talking, you talking your shit? <laughs> I, not really. Not really just getting people feedback on the song. Look at her face. Oh, okay. I just wanted to check on you. That got nervous, got them moving around. <laughs> I'm about to wait. My, my phone, my, my phone needs to ring. I'm about to wait. <laughs> it sounds like him saying his phone needs to ring. She need to call him. All right. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> That's all y'all wanted to see right there. That's exactly all we wanted to see. I'm going to go to So Real T video because we already looked at this. <clears throat> Dreamy in a bed, nigga. Uh, oh, which is fine. You give her head, nigga. Did you tell him? Okay. Come on, come on. What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Yesterday, I reported that Kaya, Jazz's cousin, made a video where she stated that she's been feeling left out by FOE because this is not the first time they haven't been inviting her when they go out. Well, guys, Jazz dropped a video where she gave her point of view on how she felt about what Kaya yeah, said in her could. video. You and guys, I totally understand. We all have to remember that Jazz and Kaya are cousins mm. and they're also not in the same age group jazz did no, state that kaya is a girl and she 
needs to be hanging out with more females rather than wanting to hang with the guys all the time. I do think that Taya wants the opportunity to be able to make the decision on if it's the right place for her to go or not. She's just saying that she wants to be included, but it doesn't mean she has to go all the time. As also did state that Kaya is about to get her apartment and she didn't feel like some of the trips that they go on that Kaya should even go if it's not beneficial to her and her brand. Y'all know Jazz all about saving that bag or if not saving because she spent a lot of money, but making sure it makes sense with whatever you're doing with your money. I respect that about it. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's facts. Like, if it's not beneficial to your brand and you're not going to film and do content, like, where you're making money from it, then I wouldn't even want to go sometimes. Expect- Absolutely not. Not these days. Stack your bread. Especially if it's just the guys. Now, like I said in my other video, Kaya definitely needs her own group of friends where she can hang out and even invite them sometimes, you know, where she isn't the only girl that is around all of those guys when they do go out. The reason why Kaya didn't get invited to Chicago is because, y'all, I got invited to Chicago five days before the trip. Kiana J reached out to me. She was going out there for her studs versus film casting call. That was Kiana trip. She said she wanted me to co-host because I did season cameraman flight. Because I'm seeing comments where it's saying, why do Von get to go everywhere? Von is my cameraman. I pay Von. He's on a payroll. I pay him to be my cameraman. He has to come everywhere I go. It's his job. I Literally. pay him. Loaded came because it was beneficial. 1222 in the chat. For Loaded. Loaded has free flights all year, y'all. I say this every vlog. Loaded don't even fly the same airline as us because he has free flights through United. It was beneficial for him. And since Kiana told me she was bringing her cameraman plus one, I brought my cameraman plus one because I know Loaded could just get up and go. It just made sense for him. Why would I hit my little cousin and be like, hey, um, you want to come to Chicago? It's going to be 800 for the room for two days and it's going to be like a $600 flight. That's not beneficial to look the cubs gonna come maybe get a vlog in the cubs wasn't doing no studio content or no major work y'all see all the other foe members they stayed back here because that made sense for them now if you just want to come and spend unnecessary money and it ain't beneficial or it don't make sense for you and your brand then you could come do that but i don't think that made sense for my little cousin and plus y'all my little cousin can't come everywhere with me it is what it is i'm only one person i cannot satisfy and please everybody while i'm living and breathing on earth no my little cousin still won't be coming every single where with me we in two different age brackets do you bring your little sister your little cousin your nieces and nephews everywhere with you hell no especially if you ain't 21 if you ain't 21 baby i will see you in several years hell no you don't <laughs> you don't and don't sit here and tell me you do you don't some places my little cousin can't come y'all even sometimes we bring her out in houston we be having to uber her back home because she can't get in because the club is 21 plus like we always involve her when we can every time we go to top golf kaya come bowling kaya come anything that we can involve her in we do but everything don't make sense for her to come to that's just like if a little vibe come down from miami and she tell me hey uh, me and my homegirls gonna be out here we got an airbnb for the weekend the boys come through she's talking about the guys why would i invite my little cousin to a b and b party or a b and b function with nothing but women she straight and this is why i preach to her y'all she can't sit here and say i don't preach to her i always tell her to find influencer friends or find friends that's around her age do content reach out network dm them i even be sending her people who are her age that's influencers that i know that's in the city that's why we bring other influencers around her that's her age so she can collab so she can work so she can network collab. Every trip, my little cousin is not going to be able to come on, and that's okay, y'all. Do y'all not understand? I be around boys majority. Boys, because I'm a stud. I hang around nothing but men. My little cousin is straight. She need to be around women, girly girls, so she could get her feminine energy, so she could keep it, so it could brighten. So like That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I want her to be around that, and that's why I stress to her to find friends that's your age. Other people that's getting to that bag, that's, you know what I'm saying, young like you, that's influencers. I always put that in her head. She can't sit here and say that jazz don't do that. I put that in her head. She tried to tell me that basically, like, we're not feeling where she coming from, and I really can't feel where she coming from because you never told me that's how you was really feeling. Like, she never sat me down, y'all. She never pulled Jasmine to the side and said that. She never sat us down as a collective group and said that. She just hopped on the camera and told y'all that because I guess she just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, state her emotions, which is fine, which is fine by me. Just like I have a New York trip coming up that Kiana J invited me to for another casting call because she's doing Chicago versus New York studs and films for her show. So we did the casting in Chicago and we're going to go to New York to do the casting. Again, a two-day trip that's going to cost a lot of money. If it's not beneficial for you, why would you come? Why would I tell my little cousin to come being dead ass? When I know that she could be stacking money right now. Like, I know she finna get her apartment in like the next month or two. Why would I tell you to spend unnecessary money? That's not a good financial decision. Why would because tell you to do that? When you could be saving your money and stacking your money for when we move out of here and you get in your own apartment. Why because say that? My cousin is not going to be able to come on every trip, y'all. That's not unfair. That is life. Nobody is mistreating my little cousin, bro. I Jazz also stated that she wished Kaya had brought it to her and the FOE gang before she brought it to the internet. She stated that she didn't know that Kaya felt that way because she has never told them personally. 
personally. But yet she stated that she has said it in jokingly way so she didn't believe that she was Siri. But you know the people in the comments are going to drop that receipt. Someone yeah. dropped the proof of, God, proof of God telling them they take in not taking her seriously Link in time frame when kaya <laughs> told jazz and the whole foe that she has been feeling left out and they don't invite her places it came up that she is only in the business foe chat and she isn't in the general foe chat with the guys but they stated that they was gonna add her i'm not sure if they added her because it seems like she's still being left out of those plans you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below and let us know what you think she said ain't nobody invite her bro you sick. Bro, wait, 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 wait. First of all, y'all said y'all got them shits a couple of days you ago. Sick, you sick, dog. You sick, bro. You don't even sound able to go to the house a couple of days ago. Go like this. Go like this. Yay! Go like that. Go like, yay! I'm trying to fucking talk this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think it'd be an NBA game right now, bro. You're a hazard. A couple of days ago, y'all were not under the impression that I was sick. You don't get the brand sick, bro. And then never. Money gonna be sick. Y'all niggas. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> when you out with feminine woman, you gotta women. You gotta watch them and like <laughs> make sure they not. Like sometimes they get overly drunk. Sometimes uh, they just <laughs> doing too much. Okay. And most of the time when you out with niggas and y'all just doing y'all thing, you ain't, I don't have to watch out for you, bro. Like, sometimes with dudes, they do get a little too drunk, get a little heated. But I don't have to, I don't have to make sure ain't no girls trying to jump you. I ain't got to make sure, um, you know, somebody trying to put something in your drink and, and you got to go to the bathroom by yourself. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, I feel like way more dangerous, so... I understand where she come from. And she ain't 21. You ain't going nowhere with me. I'll see you when I get back to the crib. I say, hey, Hell no. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick now. I'm trying to talk. Hey, a couple of days ago, like, like I said, y'all study all about this sick shit, nigga. I'm talking real shit. Okay. A couple of days ago, y'all was not under the impression that I was sick. Yeah, that's how sickness works. So y'all could have asked me. It get worse. Y'all could have fucking texted me. So basically, Lola said, you got to... Hey, spread the virus, though. Hey, hey, no, you ain't talking to Jay Long. Jay Long got a ticket, too. Hey, you ain't talking to Jay Long. Talk and Amar got a ticket. The only nigga who don't got a ticket is Rod. Hey, so you got to go talk to Jay Long. You need to uh, call Amar, too, because that ain't just all I thought. We need to talk about everybody. We're going to talk about everybody. Everybody at the phone. Everybody at the phone. Bro, nigga. Niggas could have still texted me, nigga. You give, you give me the decision to say no. Yeah, I like that, Kai. Hey, it was my bad, though. Jay Long, uh, she wanted, got something to talk to you about. She confronted all of us. Oh, let's go in here, Jay Long. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just begged. <laughs> <laughs> he said, damn, yeah. So, what happened? He's so clean. That's a clean dude. There is the NBA game. Right? I told her she's sick. They said that the tickets were purchased a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, they was like, Kai, you're sick, you can't go out. A couple of days ago, y'all weren't under the impression that I was sick. Nobody sent me a text message, hey, Kai, we going to this day, we going to this day. Are you not in the group message? Bro. Bro. No, bro. nigga, I'm in the fucking FOE business group message. Not the one with like... all y'all fucking business. Like I fucking said. I need to be in the main one. I think she's really upset. Let everybody know. <clears throat> bro, Every, I'm on everybody fucking you know. My nigga, I'm in the FOE business group chat. You, know you, you, you don't want to be with the niggas. Let me talk about other stuff. Do you want my ticket or no? You got me coughing a little bit too, Kanye. She, she, she can't breathe. She can have my ticket. And you got me coughing a little bit. She can have my ticket. Ever since she came back. But it's like $300. I've been sniffling. See, yeah, you better get on that, Jazz. You better get on that shit. That you know, walk come shit. Come from over around there. Step right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, Kanye, we ain't gonna forget about you. Okay, that was our fault. Because we moving so fast. But next time, we're gonna give you the option to say no. No, I'm good. I can tell y'all niggas. No, I'm feet, feet, feet. <laughs> <laughs> Join <and> running. <laughs> I want everybody. I want everybody. Everybody gonna be in the comments. Yeah, y'all wrong. But I know they are. I just said that. What? You know, what I'm gonna take accountability to where we was moving too fast. What? I forgot your ass was ah. in New York for real. Hey, I really got the day you said you was coming back. How you forget a nigga that's a part of the FOE? So fucking weird. Like, what the fuck? Twin, we didn't forget about you, twin. I forgot you was in the city. I forgot your ass was in New York. So where the fuck else would I be, bro? 
I just really forgot. Twin, my mind. My mind. I've been, been, been here, there, there. I've been growing every day, twin. It's my fault, though. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo next, the next NBA game we go to, yo, check it on Jordan. Oh, <clears throat> they ain't even inviting us to the NBA game. I get it. <clears throat> I get it. And he's a bunch of single niggas like, um, no. Not about to, no. She needs some friends. Hey, bro, can I drink all of this or is this too much? Huh? Can I drink all of this or is this too much? Uh, I'll take this. I say I'll down it all. Would we'll never let nobody around me mistreat my little cousin. Her mama sent her down here to be up, up under me. Why would I let anybody mistreat her? And then let's move on to the money thing. She say when it's time for us to hit her about the bills, that's when we hit her. I mean, you live in the crib. You stay here. You have to pay rent. You have to pay bills. I mean, that's a part of adulthood. I didn't have Kaya since she was 15. Kaya and Amara moved into my old crib at Tamara Branch, January of 2021. She was 15. Kaya is now 19 years old. The entire time at Tamara Branch, I made sure nobody paid rent except me. Anybody that was staying at the old crib never paid rent because I wanted everybody to stack their bread and be ready to when we moved into the next crib, which is the crib now. I can call Lamar and confirm. Smart. This is a solid nigga right here. Because he stayed there. Y'all know everybody who stayed in the old crib. Jazz was the only one paying that rent. So I let everybody get themselves together and stack their bread, stack their bread, stack their bread. Like I said, Kaya been in that crib with me since she was 15. She's 19 years old now. We just moved in this crib November 1st of 2023. Y'all do the calculations. She just started paying bills. She just started paying rent. So let me call my best friend who is staying with me also and ask him who is paying the rent. It's never about money. With now we got to call people. Me. Hello. Hey, twin. So it's Tamara Branch. From when I moved you in there, you and Kaya, because y'all was the first ones in there in January 2021. From then till we moved out the house, who was paying rent? Shit, you, twin. Shit. Did I ever come to y'all? and tell y'all to give me something, even though y'all wanted to give me bread. You and a couple other members offer bread. I always tell y'all to do what? Shit, bro, y'all good, bro. Just stay down to stack y'all bread and everything, bro. I'ma handle it. That's, pretty, that's literally the words that I remember hearing out your mouth, bro. You let niggas do, like, stay down and just, you know, get they self together. You ain't bug a nigga or nothing like that. Because if a nigga gonna be a part of the game, <clears throat> you gotta have money. Literally. That's something I learned about being with a gang or being around niggas, they gotta have bread. Cause if they don't, they gonna be looking at you like you crazy. <laughs> you let Literally. everybody get themselves together, pretty much. All right, twin. That's all I want to confirm. Same list, bro. Like. I don't know why little cuz hopping on here like I'm just asking for bread like you stay here. When we all agreed to move in this crib in November, y'all, we all seven, because it's seven members of FOE, we all seven said we was breaking down the bill. I'm supposed to ask you for the bill money at the beginning of the month, and I just don't ask for any type of amount. I send a breakdown of how much electricity was used, how much water, how much gas, plus how much we made off the FOE channel, because that comes out. I'm the least person to ask for money. I give more than I receive, and that's been me since I've been a, a baby. Bring something in me to me too give to see joy on other people's face to smile yes i have to ask you for bill money because you're an adult now i let you stack and grind from 15 One, two, three, four on the chat. to over 19 because we ain't move out that crib until november of last year that's only like december january february march april may june july that's eight months you got a lifetime to go and i ain't gonna even be the person that's asking for the bill money it's gonna be the other man like you know what i'm saying i was just getting her ready for adulthood because in life you Let's get into Armand. The other day I reported that Armand stated he will be dropping his new single on July 19th. Well, guys, he went live last night with his friend Chrissy. What I have to say is, that's your kid with your doggy. The other day I reported that Armand stated he will be dropping his new single on July 19th. He is so fucking cute. Well, guys. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, I want a Yorkie. I think my friend just sold out of all her Yorkies. Honey, y'all shouldn't let me get one. But anyway, y'all know I'm done with this video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.